Hello, my name is Andy Rossiter and I'm the director of the Waikiki Aquarium and today I'd like to introduce you to some of my favorite fishes. These are what are called weedy sea dragons and they're found only on the south coast of Australia and in Tasmania in the colder waters. They're not a tropical fish. They're related to the, to the seahorses as you can probably see by their very very unusual shape. These are about uh, maximum size. They don't grow much bigger than this, and we think they live 10 to 12 years. Um, coincidentally, uh, 10 to 12 years ago, we started a project at the Waikiki Aquarium with the objective of breeding these in captivity, something which had, had uh, done by very, very few aquariums in the world. And this year we succeeded. We actually got them to, to lay eggs, and uh, one of them hatched, and we got it behind the scenes, and I'll show you a picture of that soon. But how do they breed? Very interesting. In most seahorses, the female lays eggs in a pouch on the male's belly, and they hatch and erupt from there when they're ready to go. In the sea dragon, they stick them to the underside of the tail, where they develop, and then baby sea dragons just drop off. So we've got a picture of that to show you as well. So hopefully, now that we've done it once, we can do it again, and in the future, there'll be lots and lots of baby sea dragons at the Waikiki Aquarium. Thank you for your interest.